Well, hello everybody, this is Dr. Guy, author of the Dissertation Warrior and founder of the Dissertation Mentor Accelerator Program. And this is a shortened version of a longer masterclass that I offer in my flagship dissertation training program, the Dissertation Mentor Accelerator Program. So that's a lot of dissertations. So I'm really honored that you're here today and I wanna to talk to you about how do you select your methodology for your doctoral dissertation. Where doctoral students often start this conversation is often in completely the wrong place. They often say, I am a numbers person, so I'm going to do a quantitative study. Or they say, I am not a numbers person, so I'm going to do a qualitative study. Or they might say, I want the best of all worlds possible, so I'm going to do a mixed methods study. Where candidates really lose out in this part of the process is they don't realize that in the initial beginnings of their work, it's so easy to be swayed by your own personal biases and pay not attention to that which will give you the best basis for your study, for your doctoral study. And your best basis is actually the research, the literature. In the literature, there are recommendations for future research that will actually tell you what methodology you should select. In addition to that, there are norms within your doctoral program that should be considered as you go and start considering your methodology. So what is a methodology anyways? Well, essentially, a methodology is the process by which you collect, you gather, and then you analyze all your data. And we typically categorize these methodologies into families like quantitative, qualitative, or mixed methods. Within each of those, there are more specific names by which you might call your individual research design. Some common ones that you've heard of before are case study, narrative, ethnography. You might have a statistical type model like a quantitative ex post facto study of some kind. There are many different forms of research that you could choose. But generally speaking, research designs come in families. We have quantitative, a quantitative family, we have a qualitative family, and we have this mixed methods, which is just simply a mixture of both a quantitative design that you've selected and then a qualitative design that you've selected. How then should you choose your methodology? When you go and you speak to your doctoral committee, your dissertation chair, and your committee members, you're going to have to show that your chosen methodology is justified and it's appropriate. It's justified in that other researchers are recommending that we use this methodology to go and research that researchable problem in which you're interested in. And it should be appropriate also in that it actually could help you finish the aims of your study. So how should you then go about selecting your methodology? Well, the first step is to find the 25, 30, or even 50 most recent dissertations from your doctoral program, because your doctoral program is the place that you'd like to start, that you should start. Look at what are the norms of my doctoral program. Are most studies from my doctoral program quantitative? Are most of them qualitative? And if so, what forms of those quantitative and qualitative studies are being supported in my doctoral program. It's possible that you're gonna find that your doctoral program has a bias as far as what types of studies it allows through. So that should be the first step as you're considering your methodology. The second step that you should consider is what is the research recommending? What recommendations for future research are out there that are asking you to pursue a specific type of methodology? You know, when you go to your chair initially, as I said in one of my more recent videos, it can be really tempting to bring your own biases, your own justifications as to why you should conduct your study. But notice how different it feels and, and within and also how different it sounds, how it would sound to your chair, when you bring the most thought through, most justified reason for doing this, which is that the literature is telling us to do so, that recent research is saying that this study that I'm about to do is recommended as future research. You're doing what the researchers are asking us to do. That is the gold 
that you're looking for as you're undertaking your literature search. And in fact, that's the third thing that you should be doing. As you're doing your great literature search, you should be cataloging the purpose statements, the research designs used, and even the research questions of each one of the studies that you encounter such that you can start understanding the patterns that are emerging, whether it's a quantitative study or qualitative study and so on. You can see how those are laid out, how those are put together. So that way you can model those best practices in your study. So often a common question I get is, Dr. Guy, have I chosen the right methodology for my study? There's a few ways that you can know. If you've already made this decision, there's a few ways that you can make sure that you've chosen the right one. First of all, yours should fit the norm of your doctoral program. It should absolutely be one that other dissertations have done in your program in the recent past. Number two, the research should be asking us to go do the study that you're planning on doing, or at least something really close to it. Further, you should have in your possession a pretty lengthy list of other purpose statements and other methodologies and other research questions from other studies throughout the literature so that way you can base your own off of the best norms out there in the wider research world. And finally, you should have a great research book or research manual in your possession for the specific type of methodology that you're planning on pursuing. So that way your process is guided by the best advice, just not simply your own feelings of what you should be doing. I'm Dr. Guy, and I run the world's most comprehensive online dissertation training for doctoral students, the Dissertation Mentor Accelerator Program. I hope that you'll join me. This channel is filled with advice for dissertation writers like you, and I hope that you'll click the subscription button and the notification button so that way you can get further awesome tips from me about how you can finish your doctoral work and go out and serve the world like you never have before. I'm here to assist. I hope that you'll give me that chance. Hey, and I almost forgot to mention that actually in the description in this video or in the links here in my profile, there is a link to a much longer version of this talk that is done by a much younger version of me that you should absolutely check out. It's the first link that will appear below, and I look forward to you enjoying that. You're going to love that video.